This topic here is maybe another bit of a shout out to a, a team that, you know what, actually about 12 months ago, I was making a whole bunch of little videos and stuff about different, you know, in the off season, actually, uh, about teams and players and, you know, clipping some highlights. And I, I made this video uh, clip about bagging this club. And, uh, you know, I think they've really uh, silenced a lot of um, doubters out there right now. And uh, they're second in the West. The Sacramento Kings are coming. Hey, you know, it's like uh, Chris Webber days, right? You know, when they were rolling and they had that huge rivalry with the Lakers. And uh, I don't know, how far can they go this year, Nick? What do you reckon? Conference finals? So I keep this one in my head um, as a potential topic to bring up because uh, sometimes I've struggled with some ideas. <laughs> and I guess you've brought them up, so now you've invited this. I think the Sacramento Kings have the like first round exit potential from the high seed position um they got a fantastically potent offense that we know statistically slows down in any playoff series and defense becomes a little bit more important they statistically are a very bad defensive team and, and uh while i fumble my words i'm going to pull up the potential opponent for them if the season were to end today uh, they would be going up against the T-Wolves or the Timberwolves, which would then inadvertently turn into a very high offensive game. But let's pretend that the Mavericks literally switch spots with them, considering that they have the exact same record. I think we're confident Luka would uh, eliminate the Kings. The Jazz, if they somehow jumped up there, I think that Kings could advance in that. If the Warriors, for some reason, dropped, I think the Warriors would beat the Kings. Even if the Lakers got up there, I reckon the Lakers would beat the Kings. I don't like the Kings' potential here. Um, I think they're having a fantastic season. I think they've got some stuff to build upon. Uh, but they they easily have first-round exit potential uh, of any of the top seeds in either conference. So you're feeling safe because you don't live in Sacramento, is that correct? <laughs> I feel very safe that I cannot see the beam from where I currently reside. Um, and anyone who does see the beam also can't get to me based on where it resides. I, I think you you do make a point that matchups are important. I don't think anyone wants to face the Warriors in the first round, and they could um they could they could even finish still in top four and get a home court first round, or they could slide somewhere into the play in maybe, and who knows where they might end up. And uh, I guess looking at the team sitting, you know, between the five to eight bracket there. You know, the Warriors are play a matchup no one wants to face. But, um, you know, I think any other team, there's there's question marks. And, you know, Luca, Luca's now, you know, guess what? The minutes are catching up with him. You know, you, you, you sort of really quickly alluded that, you know, Mavs and Luca are going to just smash the Kings and that's a no-brainer. But I don't think that's really the case. I think the minutes are starting to catch up with him. He's had a heavy workload for most of the season. Kyrie's come along to help out, but they're, you know... Um, you know, they're, they're sort of, you know, not, they're still that 500 sort of team. So, you know, could they beat the Kings in six? Sure. Could the Kings win in six too? I think they could. So, um, look, I think, uh, I guess uh, I'm just, uh, you know, atoning here for, you know, my preseason sort of uh, feelings on the Kings that I think that they're actually, um, you know, on a team on the up. And look, you know, whether they go all the way to the conference finals, they're going to have to get through, well, I don't know, Phoenix, maybe if KD gets back healthy, obviously, soon. The Grizzlies, maybe the Warriors too, who knows who slides into that sort of top four spot. That it's a, a tough path there. But I think they're at least going to, you know, probably at least get a win around, maybe two. And, you know, I think they could be really surprise, um, surprises this year, which they have already. I think my cold take is they will make the playoffs. And that's as far as I would be willing to extend my optimism for the Kings this year. Great season, but uh, defense is too important in the playoffs. You cannot be, you cannot be. I think they're twenty eighth. Like they are, they are very low in the defensive rating. Um, they score at a ridiculous clip. Like they're also, I think they average one hundred and thirty points per hundred possessions, um, which is just is ridiculous pace right you think about the run and gun sons that made me fall in love with basketball all the way back and they were like 101 points per 100 possessions and that was crazy fast and this is an additional 30 you know it's um it's it's a great offense that another team will look at and say okay we will slow this down now because we need to win four games out of seven we can't just like you know let a schedule loss get us can't let a it's a tuesday night and you know what we just had a back-to-back -back, like 
I think the regular season can be deceiving sometimes. And I think Sacramento is a young team that's taken advantage of proving people wrong. And it's a great season to build upon. But we've seen this too many times. We saw it with Memphis. They peaked early. And now I think they're kind of plateauing a bit. And there's some, there's some, I guess, lessons to be learned. And I think Sacramento is basically doing the exact same thing as Memphis did last year. They're going to do well. And then they're going to get bumped. And then they're going to have to learn. Yo, this is two guys with spare time. I'm Faz. This is Nick. You're probably a basketball fan like us, so hopefully you can throw us an assist in giving our video a like and uh, subscribing to our channel. And if you've got thoughts, feelings, or even some suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. And thank you for using your spare time to watch us in our spare time.